Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German Grammar. In this lesson we will be learning what are the various plural endings. Plural Two things you must remember. Alle Nomen haben eine Plural Form. Und alle Plural Formen haben Artikel die, aber verschiedene Endungen. So today we'll be doing the various endings. So let's begin with the endung e in plural. And here's the first example. Das Brot, die Brote. Das Brot, die Brote. And the next example is Der Tisch, die Tische. Der Tisch, die Tische. So just like these two examples, you only add an E at the end to make the plural form. Coming to the next ending. Endung umlaut und E. Let's again take two examples. The first one is Die Hand, die Hände. Once again, die Hand, die Hände. Coming to the next one. Der Stuhl, die Stühle. Der Stuhl, die Stühle. So in some cases, the plural is made only by adding an umlaut to either E, U or O and adding an E at the end. Let's move to the next one. Endung ER Das Kind Die Kinder Once again, Das Kind Die Kinder Let's take another example. Das Kleid Die Kleider Noch einmal, Das Kleid Die Kleider So as you can see in these two examples, for some words, only an ER is added at the end to make the plural. Let's see the next Endung. Endung ER mit Umlaut. Das Haus, die Häuser. Once again, das Haus, die Häuser. Let's take another example. Das Glas, die Gläser. Noch einmal, das Glas, die Gläser. So for some words, the plural is formed by adding an umlaut to A, O or U and ER at the end. Let's come to the next ending, S. Die Kamera, die Kameras. Once again, die Kamera, die Kameras. Let's look at another example. Das Auto, die Autos. Once again, das Auto, die Autos. Some words, which are mostly international, just take an S to make their plural. So the next category is Endung N oder EN. Die Lampe, die Lampen. Once again, Die Lampe, die Lampen. The words ending with an E mostly take an N to form their plural form. Let's move to the next one. Die Uhr, die Uhren. Once again, die Uhr, die Uhren. Coming to the next category. Endung umlaut. Der Apfel, die Äpfel. Once again, Der Apfel, die Äpfel. As you must have noticed, in this only the umlaut is added to form the plural of a word. Let's look at another example. Der Mantel, die Mäntel. Once again, der Mantel, die Mäntel. So the next category of words are with no ending at all. For example, Das Fenster, die Fenster. Once again, das Fenster, 
the fenster. These words remain the same in their plural form, only they take the article the. Here is another example. Der Koffer, die Koffer. Once again, der Koffer, die Koffer. Next category, immer plural, words which are collective and are not used in the singular form. For example, die Eltern or die Leute. Immer singular. Similarly, there are some words which don't have a plural form. For example, die Zeit or das Geld. So the best way to learn the plural form of any word is, whenever you learn the article, also learn the plural form with it. That way, you will never forget them. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you like my video, do give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you have any questions or comments, do write them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!